Does the left have the same problem? Of the left has a terrible problem. What's the, what is it in your mind? What is like complexity? I'm going to have to go back to what we call object relations theory, and in that view of the mind, an early phase of development is very much like the narcissistic structure, the paranoid schizoid position, which is schizoid because it's split, and it's paranoid because any aggression and badness is not accepted as part of the self, but is projected and seen as coming from outside. The developing toddler, usually at that age, thinks, oh, I'm just good, and everything that's bad comes from outside, and so, you know, temper tantrums and so on and so forth aren't seen as being bad. They're seen as a justified reaction to not getting what you want, the bad, depriving person, what have you. So that can be a very stable position as opposed to what we call the integrated or depressive position, which doesn't sound very attractive, but when a person further matures and says, hey, you know, it's not just these other people who can be angry and aggressive, I have some of that in myself too. That's a kind of a sad awareness that, uh, just to talk about a borderline patient, I had a borderline patient once who said her husband was the most horrible person in the world. One day I got a call from the husband, she left a message, what do I do, doc? I forgot my wife's birthday, and she threw the television across the room at me. So she comes to the next session, and I said, I got a call from your husband. And she said, yeah, what a horrible person. He forgot my birthday. So I said, well, I, I, I understand you threw the television across the room at him. What else could I do? He hurt me. So this is the paranoid schizoid position. Even if you act in a hostile way, the badness is outside. Then when this patient began to be aware that she could be aggressive too, it's a sad realization, but it's an important step in maturity because that's the reality of who we are and what the world is. What I'm trying to say about people on the right and people on the left, people on the right, in my mind, tend to be organized in the paranoid schizoid position, so they hang together. We are good, they're bad. People who are leftists tend to think, oh, well, you know, we're a mix of good and bad, so we have to accommodate everything. And one of the things that annoyed me most about the debates a couple of years ago is, you know, everybody said, oh, Hillary's too complex. You know, you ask her questions, she talks for 10 minutes and she gives all. Well, these are complex questions. What annoys me is that simplicity wins out over complexity but complexity is reality. And I think leftists are more in tune with reality, so they get all kinds of discussions within themselves. No, this is the right way, that's the right way. They look at all the details and they sort of splinter instead of just saying, we're good, the others are bad, let's just keep it that way and proceed and march on. Do you see what I mean? You're saying what you think would be a better prescriptive for them to be effective would be to say, we're good, they're bad, let's move on? Or no, you see, the, the problem is any group that functions with the we're good, they're bad system is going to create problems for society because it doesn't integrate all the complexity of the world and people. I'm just saying that in our political system, people who tend to be on the right side of politics have that sort of simplistic frame of mind that allows them to stay unified. Now, leftists can be just as simplistic as people on the right. I mean, there are many examples in history of people on the left who got just as uh, out of touch with reality and just as embedded in a simplistic, we're good, they're bad frame of mind, and that does damage too. So the problem really isn't whether you're on the left or on the right, but can you maintain a level of complexity in your appreciation of problems, which the public may not want to hear because it makes things difficult, or do you give up your complexity and just get to kind of a slogan mentality, which is easier for people to accept but maybe doesn't adapt as well to reality. Well, it also, I mean, it feels good to split, right? I mean, it feels good to feel like you know and, yeah. it, right? I mean, it's, it's a seductive feeling, you know, in the face of like mortality and we're gonna, you're gonna lose people and financial struggles and all of these things mm -hmm. that are so unknown. Um, 
to have some security, you know, I think probably is very seductive. I mean, it's not well, it's real. It's extremely seductive. That's the problem. We all subscribe to some kind of narrative of what makes sense in the world. Maybe there is no sense in the world. We all have to either create it or be nihilistic. I think the question is how complex can one's narrative be? It's extremely comforting to think we're the good ones, the others are the bad. I think the challenge to society is one of education. How can we educate people to not shy away from complexity? How can we educate people to embrace it and appreciate it rather than be threatened by it? Now, maybe I'm idealizing part of my past, but when I remember learning about America, it was about equality and inclusion. And that narrative of inclusion, I think, was a more advanced one than the narrative of uh, identity politics and excluding anyone who isn't self. And I don't know how we can get back to what we seem to be moving toward, but now seem to be losing in our way of thinking as a, as a society.